Explorers off the Florida coast are almost certain to forever be reminded of one of the greatest tragedies in space travel history. They've been finding pieces of the Challenger space shuttle for nearly 40 years. One of the most heartbreaking disasters in NASA's history was the explosion of the Challenger space shuttle on January 28, 1986, just 73 seconds after liftoff. All seven astronauts on board were killed. After a lengthy investigation, experts determined that cold overnight temperatures caused the O-ring seals in the booster rockets to fail. The tragedy resulted in NASA halting shuttle missions for two years as it worked on improving shuttle features. NASA has appointed a committee of top engineers and scientists to investigate the catastrophe. Orders have been issued to impound all records concerning the flight. Almost 40 years later, parts of the shuttle were accidentally discovered on the ocean floor by a television documentary crew. They were looking for World War II aircraft wreckage for history production. NASA confirmed in November 2022 that the discovery was indeed fragments from the Challenger. In a NASA article about the debris, the agency confirmed, divers noticed a large human-made object covered partially by sand on the sea floor. The proximity to the Florida Space Coast, along with the item's modern construction and presence of 8-inch square tiles, led the documentary team to contact NASA. Some of the shuttle, hundreds of pounds of metal, was recovered from the ocean within 24 hours of the horrific accident. The remains of the crew were found inside the cabin in March 1986. NASA found enough of the shuttle to conclude its investigation, but most of Challenger remains in the ocean. The Associated Press reports that around 118 tons of Challenger debris have been recovered in the years since the crash, about 47% of the shuttle. That means more than half of the craft is still unaccounted for. The New York Times reports that half of the orbiter and boosters, two-thirds of the external fuel tank, and one-fourth of the satellite payload have yet to be recovered. Some of the pieces recovered are on display in a NASA exhibit called Forever Remembered at Florida's Kennedy Space Center. The exhibit includes wreckage and astronaut artifacts not only from the Challenger shuttle, but also the Columbia shuttle, which exploded on re-entry in 2003. One piece of the Challenger wreckage is part of the fuselage that bears an American flag. The hard sacrifice that was made by the crews of Space Shuttle Challenger in Columbia will now be shared with people in the future. The 2022 debris recovery wasn't the first time that pieces of the Challenger shuttle were inadvertently discovered. The New York Times reports that in 1991, fishermen found a small tank and a metal fragment a few feet off Cape Canaveral. The fragments were also allegedly from the left wing of the craft. In December 1996, two sections of the shuttle washed ashore at Cocoa Beach, 20 miles south of Kennedy Space Center. The Tampa Bay Times reported that beachgoers found two sections of the Challenger's left inboard wing flap covered in barnacles in the early morning hours. One piece measured about 8 by 14 feet, and the other was about 5 feet long and 1 foot wide. NASA reportedly put the wreckage with the other 5,000 recovered pieces of the shuttle in two silos. 